well over 2,540 kilometers, 1,580 miles in length, and 70 kilometers, 43 miles wide, the Mariana Trench is definitely the last place any ship, submarine, or diver would ever want to get lost in. First discovered in 1875 by the HMS Challenger, it is located around the southwest of Guam and east of the Mariana Islands. It is home to the top two deepest points on Earth, the Challenger Deep with a depth of 10,910 meters, 35,800 feet, and the Sirena Deep which measures 10,800 meters, 35,000 feet. Apart from being a place of perpetual darkness, the water pressure is over 1,000 times the usual. That is comparable to having 100 elephants stacked on your head. Due to the trench's extremely inhospitable conditions, it is no surprise that despite our technological advancement, researchers prefer flying up into space rather than diving down into this mysterious trench. Amidst these inhospitable conditions, some organisms still live and thrive in this same trench, although not all live at the very bottom. While we previously examined four of such creatures in a previous video, we shall be looking at another eight in this video. The first on our list is the deep sea dragonfish nicknamed the scaleless dragonfish. It is an eel-shaped assassin that grows to be just about 15 centimeters, 6 inches in length, and is found at depths up to 6,000 feet, 1,830 meters below the sea level. Unlike its mythical terrestrial namesake, dragons, which are believed to emit fire, the deep-sea dragonfish substitutes fire for a red glow emitted by its eyes. Due to its perpetually dark environment, it also has two other bioluminescent features a lighted barbell that grows from underneath its jaw while acting as a lure for prey, and the sides of its body which also emit light as it is lined with photophores possibly for the purpose of attracting a mate or prey. The second animal on this list is also an eel-shaped fish first discovered in late 19th century by Ludwig Doderlein, the German ichthyologist. It is sometimes referred to by researchers as a living fossil due to the fact that it has been around in our oceans for more than 80 million years. Often found at depths of 1,220 meters, 4,000 feet, it got its name from its specially numbered and arranged gills. While other sharks have five gills, the frilled shark packs an extra gill with the first pair of gills stretching as far back as into its throat. Like its cousin, the goblin shark already discussed in a previous video, this frilled shark is armed with several rows of insanely arranged backward-facing teeth. Though it measures just 30 to 40 centimeters, 1 to 1.3 feet, the giant isopod is a perfect example of a deep-sea gigantism and would fit in perfectly in any horror or alien invasion movie due to its bizarre looks. Have you ever come across a 1 foot, 30 centimeter, long looking bug animal? Wait till you meet this resident of the Mariana Trench. Known scientifically as Bathynomus gigantus, its size is due to its deep sea habitat in which animals can grow bigger than their shallow water dwelling counterparts. This bizarre looking supersized crustacean has compound eyes with up to 4,000 facets residing around 2,200 meters, 7,200 feet below sea level, the eyes are perfectly adapted to capturing every fast movement across the ocean floor, plus a pair of antennas helpful in navigation. While giant isopods invest in its eyes and size, the fourth animal on our list invests in its numerous suckers. Having neither ferocious teeth nor bioluminescence, the sea cucumber is an invertebrate that is possessive of numerous suckers, which allows it to live comfortably at the ocean's bottom. With over 1,200 species of sea cucumbers already identified, some of these live not only at the bottom of the deep seas, but some also in shallow waters. One ingenious fact is that sea cucumbers can mutilate their body in order to escape from predators. They simply contract their muscles and eject their toxic internal organs into the direction of their predator. Do not worry, these organs regenerate quickly. 
That is the price to pay if you intend to live at the sea bottom. In order not to pay a costly price like sea cucumbers, the vampire squid combines features of both squids and octopi. Also a living fossil, the vampire squid is said to have changed very little throughout its last 300 million years of existence. Living at depths up to 3,000 feet 900 meters, you might be expecting it to be a bloodthirsty animal. However, it feeds mainly on marine snow using its two long, sticky filaments. In fact, in order to escape predation, it turns itself inside out by wrapping its head with the eight webbed arms and sometimes ejecting colorless bioluminescent materials and producing light at the tip of its arms, all aimed at disorienting its predator. Nicknamed Big Red, the Gran Rojo jellyfish is definitely a giant red jellyfish as it grows to be 3 foot 1 meter. Although it was first discovered by an Imbari expedition team of marine biologists led by George Matsumoto in 1993, it wasn't until 2003 before it was classified as a new species. Living at depths of 2,000 to 4,800 feet, 650 to 1500 meters, it is named after Tiburon, the remotely operated vehicle ROV that found it. While most jellies have long sticky tentacles, Big Red prefers short fleshy stumps, which are part of why it was categorized as a new species. Capable of growing up to 30 inches 75 centimeters in diameter, this is another candidate of deep sea gigantism. Of all the 23 Gran Rojo jellies observed till date, each sport four to seven stumps. Our next Mariana Trench resident is as ferocious as it looks. The viper fish is deservedly so named due to its impressive arsenal of teeth in which two fangs juts all the way up to its eye. Shaped like a torpedo, it is believed that these fishes chase after their prey at incredible speeds and impale them using the scary array of fang-like transparent teeth. Growing to be just 30 centimeters, 12 inches in length, they live at extreme depths of up to 5,000 feet, 1,500 meters below the sea level. At night, however, they come up to shallow depths of 2,000 feet, 600 meters to hunt for prey. At such times, they lure their prey by flashing on and off their light-tipped dorsal fin, and if there is a need for a chase, you can be sure they'll likely win. If you thought the viper fish is all toothy, meet its cousin, the fang-tooth fish. In fact, due to its grotesque toothy appearance, it has earned the nicknames ogrefish and saber-tooth. It is smaller than even the viper fish as it measures a maximum length of 16 centimeters, 6 inches. With a short body and a big mouth, it is considered the fish with the largest teeth when compared with body ratio. Living at extreme depths of up to 16,000 feet, 5,000 meters, it is extremely elusive. Like their cousins, fangtooth also migrate to shallow waters at night in order to hunt. However, they have very bad eyesight but an excellent sense of touch through the use of chemoreception. Hence, when something comes close, they simply take a bite and decide if it's on the menu or not. Many are the unknown wanderers that exist in the extreme depths of our oceans, especially in the Mariana Trench. As examined in a previous video, this particular trench is filled with both the beautiful and the beastly. While animals like great white shark might seem to be one of the kings of the seas, the true king might be lurking undiscovered within depths of this trench, yet to be discovered. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share, and comment.